Congressman Mark Meadows, Republican from North Carolina, standing by to talk to us. And Congressman, I understand you were not there. You were not part of this baseball practice. But uh, tell us about your friends and colleagues who have been involved and what you know about them. Well, obviously, it's, it's a tough day, Brian, as we look at this. Security protocols will be changed as a result of the events that unfolded this morning. But additionally, uh, you know, in talking to some of my colleagues who were there, you know, they're, they're rattled, uh, as, as you would expect. But I think the other part of that is, is that any time that you have this, you see the worst of humanity, but you also see the best of humanity. Reporters from all over the country calling to check and see how members of Congress were. I, I got multiple texts from, you know, all the way from Florida to California and in between as, as the story has unfolded. But I think the real key for this is, is that uh, a real shout out to our Capitol Police. I know when I came through security this morning, I made a point to go to each one of them to thank them for their service because it is uh, truly the, their uh, uh, job to protect, but they're in harm's way each and every day. And so, uh, uh, it, uh, it, it, there is a somber mood here on Capitol Hill as we look at that, but there is not a, a mood of fear as much as there is vigilance to make sure that we uh, uh, keep everybody out of harm's way. And Congressman, I assume that you feel uh, protected day in and day out by members of the Capitol Police who, as you mentioned, you become close to over time. And I hope that that protection also extends to events when you go home in your district where it's really crucial to have a direct interface with your constituents. Well, it does, Brian, and you hit a key point. Actually, already this morning, we've reached out to our staff back in the district to make sure that we're going over those security protocols, even though that this is hopefully just a, a, an isolated incident here in Northern Virginia. You can't take anything for granted, and, and maybe uh, as we look at this, we, we have to put it in perspective. It's the, the safety and welfare of those who work with us. You know, members of Congress may be a target, but I'm probably more concerned about our Capitol Police our law enforcement officers, the staff, uh, as they look at it, we sign up for this. Sometimes they don't, uh, you know, really understand the, the ramifications. And the other part of that is is a, a real shout out to our men and women in the military. Each and every day, we see this as a one-off event, but 365 days a year, they put their life on the line. And so uh, it's, it's a time to refocus, uh, Brian, to look at this. Uh, obviously, the reports are good from uh, uh, just because of the heroic efforts of Capitol Police that uh, it looks like there's going to be a full recovery on everybody's part. Uh, but I can tell you that that we're we're laser focused on trying to make sure that that everybody remains safe. Well, we uh, we join you in that goal. We join you in celebrating the good news that it looks like everyone will uh, recover and pull out of this. Congressman Mark Meadows, Republican of North Carolina, thank you very much sir for uh, joining our coverage and uh, saying you, what you did.